I managed to arrange a hearing of the minister's court. Any predictions? Well, I have two of the ministers, the smart ones, ready to vote for amnesty. I'm sure one of the others will fall in line. Good. And Tana says two more of the Kon Ma are willing to follow him if you'll guarantee their safety. Done. I have to say this, Commander. When we first talked, I wasn't sure you... This wouldn't have been possible without your support. I want you to know it's appreciated. Be sure to mention it the next time you chat with Admiral Roldman. Sir. Go over my head again, and I'll have yours on a platter. So, Constable, news about our Klingon sisters. They seem to make friends easily. Friends? Our reformed Kon Ma, for example. Tala of Lursa and Betul. Talking about a business arrangement, he's paying them for something. I don't know what. The gold is supposedly on its way. Two other members of the Kon Ma may be bringing it. How do you know that? Major Kira mentioned that they were on their way. Do you want her to know about this? Not quite yet. You are the clothier, Garrick. At your service, madam. And may I show you some of our latest fashions? Yeah, perhaps some... Um... Silk lingerie from Kraus IV. Watch your tongue, Cardassian. Or I'll rip it out and eat it. <laughs> I meant no offense. I have few Klingon patrons. So, is there something you wish to buy? We are not here to buy. We are here to sell. We understand. You still represent Cardassian interests here. Ah, uh, I am only a simple clothing merchant. We have no time for your games. Do you want Tanalos or not? Are you in a position to deliver the Bajoran to Cardassian authorities? What is he worth to them? In gold, press, platinum. You insult us! Ladies, ladies, please. Everything is negotiable. I am no more than what I seem to be, a merchant trying to make the best transaction. So, let us haggle. 